Now the latest from ITV News in the Channel Islands with Jess Dunstan and Richard Pallo. Hello and welcome to ITV News. The headlines on channel tonight, a smaller and shorter hospital for Jersey. The government has unveiled the latest set of plans, but cost is still a sticking point. The public supports a new hospital, but we need the right hospital at the right price. We cannot deliver the new hospital project for £550 million. Holly's been looking at the changes in detail and getting reaction. Awesome. Good evening. For the second time this week, we start the show talking about Jersey's new hospital. Fresh designs for the project have been revealed, which show it will be slightly smaller than previously planned. It's also hoped the tweaks will make it more in keeping with its surroundings. But while the plans are smaller, the price tag is not. The project is still coming in at around £800 million, despite calls from backbench politicians to cut the budget by nearly 300 million. Well, Holly Goodall is at the site at Overdale for us tonight. And how much of a difference will these new plans make, Holly? Well, that very much remains to be seen. The R Hospital project team say they've listened to the feedback and made changes to the building, which will make it less imposing and ensure the project comes in on or under budget. But as far as the hospital review panel is concerned, well, these tweaks make no impact on the overall budget, which they say is hundreds of millions of pounds more than it should be. It's the new improved and slightly smaller design for Jersey's new hospital, which the team behind it hope will allow the long-awaited project get over the finish line on time and on budget. The previous design at Stage 2 prompted concerns about the impact of its size and curved roof on the surrounding environment. Now it's been slimmed down to a lower building, around 4,000 square metres smaller, with a greater emphasis on landscaping between the site and neighbouring properties. But project lead Senator Farnham is confident the reduction in size won't compromise services. We've been able to maintain the clinical space and in and many instances they've improved clinical adjacencies and improved clinical flows. So the, the clinicians are, have been very helpful in making sure that we have maintained the very highest of service. Earlier this week, government scrutiny queried the cost of the project, a figure which has shot up from just under half a million to over £800 million with a £750 million loan. Scrutiny would like to see it capped at £550 million instead, with only £400 million of borrowing. The latest designs, while promising to bring the project in on budget, don't bring down the overall projected cost. The price that they are con contemplating is 21% over a median rate if you benchmark across um, many projects of a similar scale in other places. The government have spent £47 million on this project to date and they haven't even got a planning application ready to go yet. So there's plenty of time to impose some restraint, to look at this logically and devise a way forward that is achievable within a sensible cost envelope. And it's a call backed by the Friends of Our New Hospital pressure group. What we need is to come back to the numbers and to focus on the reality of what we're trying to do here. We need a new hospital, the friends support a new hospital, the public supports a new hospital, but we need the right hospital at the right price. But the political oversight groups say there's no way round the cost. We cannot deliver the new hospital project for £550 million. It's not realistic. So, so to be clear, um, if that amendment was, a, was approved, the hospital, current hospital project would be halted and it would be back to the drawing board. Yet another twist in the tail then for a project which has experienced no end of roadblocks. So Holly, those are the revised plans, but what happens next for the project? Well, the team behind the project are hoping to submit the planning application by the 15th of November, which could get approval as early as April next year. But in the meantime, there are still plenty of loose ends. A field just up the road from here, which will become the site of the new mental health facility, is yet to be bought and may have to be compulsory purchased. And then there are the casualties from the development of the new access roads. Alternative parking for the um, cabin, pet cabin and a uh, new site for the bowling club are also still yet to be found. 
ground. But of course, the biggest hurdle will be securing the budget, which will be debated by the states on the 5th of October. So it depends which way that goes, whether they'll be writing up the plans or going back to the drawing board. Mm. We'll have to wait and see. Holly, thank you.